Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, we're taking a look at the brand new LG 48 inch CX OLED TV because we want to see how well it works as a gaming monitor. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because as PC gamers, we want to see that, and it's been hyped a lot by a lot of people. So let's check that out. But before we do, a quick word from our sponsor, Smart Deploy. Now, Smart Deploy allows IT departments to re image unlimited computer models from one golden image. Search the library for your models and grab your exclusive free software worth over $800 at smartdeploy.com slash board. Okay, so the LG 48-inch uh, CX OLED is one a lot of people are talking about. It's priced at $1,500. It is an affordable OLED. It's got, you know, their AI ThinQ system built into it, but it is a beautiful looking TV. I mean, thin bezels all around and a very thin TV in general. So uh, you can see how thin it is, just, you know, the front and back, really nice, thin bezels all around and also just a nice aesthetic look. Now, the one thing I'll tell you is quickly, uh, basically go watch videos how to set up the stand because it's annoying. There are a couple of videos out there on YouTube. I'll link, leave the links down for you guys below. But this TV, of course, is an OLED TV, which means true blacks are deep, as you can see with that Magneto wallpaper. Really nice true blacks on this TV. Pixel dimming all the way. But what are the features that we care as gamers, especially a PC gamer? So first off, it's powered by their um, Alpha 9 uh, third gen processor. It's a 4K processor. We also have a refresh rate of 120 hertz. Yes, that's right, 120 hertz refresh rate, which is great. You've got HDR support for Dolby Vision, HDR 10, all that fun stuff. But as a gamer, the list goes on. You've got G-Sync com compatibility, so you've got G-Sync built in there. You've also got VRR, variable refresh rate, and this also supports auto latency uh, mode. Now, the cool thing is this thing also has a one millisecond response time. So as you're gaming, like, I mean, like, kind of fits all the criteria we care about in there. Now, in terms of ports, we're looking at four HDMI ports, although I believe there's, uh, of course we have an eARC port, but all of them support HDMI 2.1 at 40 gigabits, not 48. Uh, we'll see how that pans out, but, you know, it means that, you know, HDMI 2.1 definitely supports 4K 120, so that is a huge plus. Now, to test this all, to see how it actually works on this TV, we need a PC to do that. And this time I decided to do a new build thanks to our friends from Intel uh, who sent over their brand new uh, 10th gen processor. I've got the uh, Core i5 variant here, which I use for this build. And I have to say though, you're gonna see some really interesting things about it. But showcasing the build quickly, we have a Be Quiet case and power supply. Look, it's quiet in the case, trust me. Cooler Master is, of course, for the, uh, uh, the cooler itself, but the processor is the Quai 5 10 Gen, and uh, it's a really nice processor, and I was really excited to actually see it. I think the overall build, build looks really nice. In terms of storage, we went with an NVMe from Seagate, and we got that brand new Samsung SSD at two terabytes. It's truly needed, because as you guys know, Call of Duty Warzone already takes like 250 gigabytes of storage, so, and I'm gonna be playing a lot of games here, so I needed to see how that actually uh, functions and also store a lot of games, and I have to say, that drive's actually pretty cool. Uh, but we have all that, so we've got our PC, looks great. Uh, graphics card, we initially went with a GTX 2070 from, 27 mini from Asus, but because we were playing on a 4K display, we said, you know what, let's bring the big boy out. So we went with the ROG Strig, the 2080 Ti to give the best performance possible because we want to see that on this TV. So what you're going to see is a clip of a couple of games, actually all the games we played here on this TV. And also you're going to listen to audio from the TV as well. So without wasting any more time, let's see some gameplay.
Okay guys, the hype is real. I mean, PC gaming on this TV is truly amazing. The fact that you've got a native 120 hertz refresh rate display absolutely makes all the difference. All the games we played uh, ran really well. I mean, Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone ran well and having the extra refresh rate, especially on a large screen like that, definitely helped quite a lot. Now, I wouldn't suggest that you sit down that close like I did, but hey, you know what, uh, it still worked really well. Also, um, Doom Eternal ran great, high FPS, about 215 frames per second. Uh, but again, taking advantage of that display, so a fast-paced game like that also worked. Street of Rage also looked good on this uh, on this TV as well. Uh, and looking at games like uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, that played well, as well as also, of course, Forza Horizon 4, which looked absolutely stunning on this TV set. Now, before you say, okay, this is really great. There are a couple of things to mention though. It's not a straightforward process because while you connect, of course, the PC directly via HDMI, you need to do a couple of things to make sure you take advantage of that 120 hertz refresh rate. So you wanna go into a video um, display settings and go to change resolution. Right there, you'll find the ability to scroll down from TV um, resolutions to PC resolutions and then change the refresh rate to, of course, a 120 hertz refresh rate at, of course, 4K. That's the best way to take advantage of it. And you can see quite clearly as we did our test UFO 
test, um, we you can see it's clearly doing 120 hertz. So the TV definitely does a wonderful job. And if you're thinking of buying this uh, to game, whether you or a console gamer or a PC gamer, this would take full advantage of it. Remember, also gets uh, HDMI 2.1 cables so that it supports because this support 4K 120 as well. Now, this is a TV, as I mentioned, so you do have, of course, the full capabilities of WebOS built into an LG TV, allowing you to download all the apps you want to, from Peacock to HBO Max, and of course, YouTube, uh, and you can access that directly from the TV. So you've got that extra benefit there, plus you've got that dedicated game setting, so when you actually turn it on, or even when you connect your PC, it goes directly into game mode, basically making sure you're getting the best gaming setting possible. And did I forget sound? You heard the audio while I was gaming, it sounded really, really good. Now, my one little gripe, of course, is the LG remote. Uh, the Magic Remote is a solid remote, but it's just too many buttons. I like a simplistic remote, and I've been asking LG to simplify this, but other than that little gripe, though, this TV has truly amazed me in terms of performance and the kind of quality all around. And also, the PC that I built also definitely showcased well on this TV. Again, it's a 4K panel, uh, 120 hertz, and you know the Intel Core i5 really ran well. And if we look at the Cinebench scores on that uh, rig, you can see it's right below, of course, a Threadripper, the first gen Threadripper, but that's still pretty solid for a Core i5 chipset. Uh, so uh, take it as you will. If you wanna build a PC and you wanna use a Core i5, uh, especially the tension, I say definitely go ahead and use it. So overall guys, that is my gaming on the LG 48 inch CX OLED. This is a gaming monitor for the PC fans that you would love either to watch TV content or game. If you have any questions or any comments or you want to pick this up, use the link down below, guys. Also, if you're looking to build the PC that I showcased with all the parts there, uh, definitely use my PC Part Picker link to check out every single part in that PC. I really liked this build. It was really fast and easy to do uh, overall. But thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.